Welcome to our service for Sunday, October the 24th. Our opening hymn is number 167, Give Me Oil in My Lamp. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Make me a fisher of men, keep me seeking. Make me a fisher of men, I pray. Make me a fisher of men, keep me seeking. Keep me seeking till the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. Keep me singing till the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Keep me serving till the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to hear his voice. Our colic for today. Grant we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Old Testament lesson this morning is Genesis 28, verses 10 to 17. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Above it stood the Lord who said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offering. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. 
He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 84 How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room, and to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield, he will give grace and glory. No good thing will the, Lord, will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Our New Testament lesson is the first Peter chapter 2, verses 1 to 5 and 9 and 10. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so by it you may grow up in your salvation. Now you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone rejected by humans, chosen by God and precious to him, you, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into the wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel hymn, Take Time to Be Holy. Take time to be holy, speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always, and feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. before him. 
gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When it was evening on the first day of the week, the followers were together. The doors were locked because they were afraid of the older leaders. Then Jesus came and stood right in the middle of them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The followers were thrilled when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, I now send you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. In this morning's Gospel reading, we hear what is known as the Great Commission. Jesus says to his disciples, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. This is the last recorded instruction of our Lord to his disciples, and it should hold great significance to each of us as believers in Christ. This great commission is the foundation for the evangelism of the Christian religion. The Lord has instructed his disciples, and therefore each of us, to take his message to all nations. And over the centuries, Christians of all generations have embraced this command. What other commands should we as baptized Christians follow? How about the golden rule to treat others as you would like to be treated yourself? Or to forgive others as God forgives us, which we learn in the Lord's Prayer? Or to end disputes quickly and to love our enemies and those who work against us. To give to the poor to please God and not to make ourselves look good in the eyes of others. To pray in private so we are not tempted to try and impress others with our prayers. To store up our treasures in heaven and not on earth. To give God a priority place in our life not judge others, to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, and comfort those in distress, to love others as God has loved us, and to keep his commandments, to be prepared for his return and his final judgment. As Christians, Jesus puts demands and expectations on us. However, throughout all of this, we are never alone. The Holy Spirit will help lead and guide us. We should not be afraid to share our faith with others, to tell others how wonderful God is and what comfort he can bring. For as the Father sent the Son, so does the Son sent each of us. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first of the great commandment. The second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Today's intercessions. In our worldwide Anglican prayer cycle, we pray for the extra-provincial churches. In our diocesan prayer cycle, we pray for the parish of Blue Rocks, and the parish of St. John's Lunenburg. In our DCS prayer cycle, we pray for St. John's Ellerslie. We pray for God's gift of health and healing for Nancy Rackham, Lloyd Ross, Pat Willis, Carol McDonald, Sylvia Moore, Helen Strilioff, Bill Luby, Donna McDougall, and Peter Southwood. We pray for our diocesan bishop and synod staff. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hymn number 486, Now Thank We All Our God. Yes. 
Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, not the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Our closing hymn, number 201, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. 